Let's talk about two cloud security issues that pretty much everybody running in the cloud experiences at some point or another, with the first being cloud zombies. Now over time, even if you just have one account, but especially across dozens or hundreds of cloud accounts, organizations will start to collect zombie resources. Zombies are untracked and unmanaged resources that are hanging out in your cloud accounts, including things like users and roles. And this creates a security nightmare because no one really knows they exist, or they know they exist, but no one knows what they're for. It also means that they are probably misconfigured and not being monitored. And so people end up leaving them there because if things are working fine, then why mess with them, right? Or, and we all get busy, we just don't have the time to look for them. The problem with keeping them around is that they increase your attack surface to both internal and external threats. And that brings me to the next issue, which is excessive privileges. Most resources and identities in your cloud environments probably have more privileges than they actually need. And it usually starts off something like this. You initially give them elevated privileges so they can get the job done. And then you tell yourself that you'll go back and refine them over time. But life and other work priorities get in the way and that never happens. So you're now left with excessive privileges all over the place, which can lead to things like privilege escalation attacks. But now that we've talked about these issues, what can we do to both prevent and address them? I made a cheat sheet about these issues and potential solutions that you can download for free, but as a summary and a highlight, first, you need visibility. You can't protect what you don't know about, and so this means proper logging and proper monitoring. Second, log down unused services and regions, because no one should ever be launching resources from there. Then, disable or at least limit ClickOps, and instead, deploy and manage with Infrastructure as Code, or IAC. ClickOps is when people are allowed to log into the console and click around, and this creates a host of issues over time. After that, enable drift prevention and detection so that those resources you've launched don't drift away from their baseline. You'll want to regularly scan accounts with automated tooling to find misconfigurations and those zombie resources, and then you'll want to quarantine any zombies that you find. You don't even have to delete them yet, and you can instead just lock them down in case they're needed down the road. Then, limit and remove excessive privileges, and then finally, implement permissions on demand. Doing all this can be a ton of work and can take a long time, but you can do it by piecing together different cloud-native or third-party tools, and there are all kinds from open source to closed source solutions. But one solution that does a lot of this for you is from the sponsor of this video, Sunry Security, and their Cloud Permissions Firewall. With the Cloud Permissions Firewall, you can solve these issues with a click of a button, which will generate an infrastructure as code template, and that template will quarantine your zombies, and then remove dangerous excessive permissions, and it will enable permissions on demand. If you'd like to try this Cloud Permissions Firewall for free, then you can use my link in the description below. I don't get any commissions, it's just a cool thing they wanted to offer to viewers of the channel. But regardless of what you end up using, you do need to take care of those zombies and those excessive privileges, because it will go a long way in preventing cloud security breaches. But I'm curious to hear from you and if you've struggled with either of these issues before or if there are any other cloud security issues or concerns that you'd like for me to cover next. So leave a comment below with your thoughts and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you next time.